It is Luke Skywalker Friday morning. Come, let us meditate like a Jedi. A question was asked, what should I do with uh, flashes of memory that occur to me as I sit in meditation? Those are not a problem. If you're trying to concentrate, they're a problem. But concentration is, is itself a problem. Concentration is exhausting our prefrontal cortex, specifically our medial prefrontal cortex, in an effort to exert our controlling tendencies to pick and choose what uh, we experience mentally. The price of that is that we trigger our almond-shaped amygdala, the seat of anxiety and aggression. Nobody needs more anxiety and aggression, but mindfulness and meditation are the opposite. In mindfulness, we, instead of relying on our prefrontal cortex, we rely upon our sympathetic nervous system located in the uh, middle third of our spinal cord that has evolved to help us to notice vulnerably, passively, viscerally, randomly, and fleetingly. And so different things are going to come to mind. Uh, we're going to notice sights, sounds, sensations, flavors, scents, and the like. We're going to notice the entire spectrum of emotions, the entire spectrum of intentions, from the kind to the cruel, from the wise to the foolish. We're going to notice the entire spectrum of thought and cognition, from the clever to the thunderously stupid. We're going to notice the full spectrum of memories, and as well as imaginings. Our job is not to scold ourselves based upon what we experience. Our job is to notice it once again, vulnerably, passively, viscerally, randomly, and fleetingly. But what do we do with it once we've noticed it? And that is where our parasympathetic nervous system comes in. Our parasympathetic nervous system, which is divided between the bottom third and the upper third of that same spinal cord, has evolved to support both physical relaxation as well as mental release. So as we relax into our experience, it can fleetingly seem somewhat less solid, less permanent, and less defining. You know, here's the wild thing. The essence of mindfulness is to silently and mentally recite the demonstrative pronoun this during each inhalation. And the essence of meditation is to silently and mentally recite the one-syllable verb ease during each exhalation. Just as the pendulum of a clock swings left and right, likewise, we swing from inhalation to exhalation, from perception to release. Neither one is better than the other. Why do we do this? Because we have each been conditioned by the perils of late stage um, capitalism to be slaves to our tendencies, to be uh, rigid, fearful, superstitious, controlling, elitist, cryptic, competitive, and cruel. These do not lend themselves to peace and love. However, by spending our time in mindfulness and meditation, we are helping our brain to cooperate with the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. And in so doing, helping our brain to help us to be the people that our dogs already think we are.